Hello, my name is Metin Ardashir. This is 379th part of explanation of my theory. Ardashir's mind, new transformations, transformation against Lawrence and Galileo transformations, the fall of Einstein's special relativity. Yes. Here, on the left equation, belongs to resetting observer from the source, light source. On the other, at rest observer's equation. I will show you these two equations are mathematically the same here when when an observer resetting from the light source according to classical velocity addition formula there must be c minus source the c minus observer velocity but According to my theory and my formulas in meta sensation perception matter, d is equals to waypoint velocity formula. This is variable light formula that I put for c minus source or observer velocity cosine alpha. Here, cosine alpha alpha is resetting 180 degrees. If it was approaching zero degree, degree, because of that, C plus observer velocity. Is this equation is equals to this equation? Is it an invariant? According to my theory and my formulas, also. Because you know Lorentz variant. Yes, left side x plus vt whole square when we make this term expand like this, and when we make this term expand like this, then these two terms cancel. Then, when we get this term left side like this, and when I compute in shortcut, I see C multiplied by T. C multiplied by T is equals to X. X minus X is 0. 0 multiplied by 2 VT is 0. So, therefore, therefore, this equation finally will be the same with this equation. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Okay. And here, absolute, absolute simultaneity. Okay. Time in these two sides doesn't change according to my theorem. But in Lorentz equation, time change in Einsteinian relativity. Time change. Uh, there, there are, there are no, there is no simultaneity. Okay, relative simultaneity according to Einsteinian relativistic theory, according to me, absolute simultaneity. Okay. I hope you see it as a whole. This is invalid. Now, explaining. Unless we realize that 
there are two separate realities, metasensation perception matter reality and, and its intrinsic motion forms and its consecutive wave reality. Life is there. Sources are there. Light sources and observable universe are living experiences, effects of interactions of intrinsic motion forms of meta sensation perception matter, life, our lives, observable universe reality, generalized subjective reality. Okay. Now, Unless we realize that there are two separate realities, unless we understand that no phenomenon can be explained as long as we are trapped in a single reality, as we try to explain the objects and their motions in our observable universe with themselves and called it science, unless we realize that we will be lost in an environment where we see nothing but meta sensation perception matter. Classical and relativistic velocity addition formulas are not valid in matter, metasensation perception matter, that have light waves sources, intrinsic motion forms as electron motion forms. Light, light wave, point on this wave, photon as I defined you before, light, eventually light, is a kind of quest, quest for us and does not belong to our observable universe. Its place is metasensation perception matter. It is not an object belonging to observable universe that full of different kinds of objects, but an intrinsic motion form belonging to metasensation perception matter. So, a light wave or a photon cannot be part observable universe laws and formulas as velocity addition formula. Velocity addition formula is not valid for metasensation perception matter and light sources because Electron motion forms are unique light sources and when an electron motion form, for instance, go this side in zero degree direction, in this side, motion direction side, wave velocity is speed of light minus electron motion forms velocity. Source motion dependent variable light theory that I put forward and I formulated before. And opposite direction, like this, different. Okay. Yes. When you look at meta sensation perception matter with your reference frame, things change. Meta sensation perception matter is the universe of the motion forms. Things Yes, not the universe of the objects, and you are not outside of it, of course, not as an object, as the motion forms. In this reference, reference frame, there is no velocity addition rule. On the contrary, there is velocity structuring rule and formula that I have put forth. There are intrinsic regular, perpetual, cyclic, or angular, angular three-dimensional Spherical ring shaped motion forms in metal sensation perception matter. These are electron motion forms, as I told you before. They produce and propagate intertwined, interconnected, interinteracted consecutive light waves, and they are unique light sources in our universes. Here, this formula and lambda. Uh, and variable lambda is equals to lambda minus delta lambda cosine alpha r point wave velocity and point wavelength formulas that I put for. And this is my frequency formula for an 
Later I will explain, going to explain, okay. Yes. These formulas that I put forth do not obey velocity addition rule. Whereas whether they have classical relativistic waves or special relativistic waves, Galilean or Lorentzian equations obey classical velocity addition rule. Yes. For today, it is enough. Have a good afternoon. See you later.